Reaching almost a decade of love, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds have remained one of Hollywood's most popular spouses. And even with their massive fame, Ryan and Blake both prefer the utmost privacy when it comes to their personal lives. Leading relatively low profiles, they refuse to speak or share much about their lives outside of their fame. All in all, there's a ton of fans who actually aren't aware of this couple's relationship or what could potentially be happening in their marriage. So with that being said, here is today's Where Are They Now countdown of the supposed top 10 signs Ryan Reynolds regrets marrying Blake Lively. Are Blake and Ryan your favorite Hollywood couple or do you have another lovable pair in mind? Share your responses below and let's jump right in. In our 10th spot, Blake trolls Ryan. Blake is the queen of trolling and honestly, Ryan going up against her kind of seems like light work. Still, her social media post calling Ryan out for going all out for Rob McElhenney's birthday was nonetheless amusing. Blake couldn't hold back on just how impressed she was by the musical theater number, writing on her Instagram story alongside the clip, wow, that's a lot of effort you put into this. In response, she set the bar for Ryan sky high by publicly anticipating her hopes of her husband professing his love to her just as extravagantly, finalizing, can't wait for August 25th. Ryan replied with a gulping dog gif. In the caption of his original post for Rob, Ryan even admitted Admitted, a birthday card might have been easier. However, this wouldn't be the first time Ryan's dropped the ball when it came to Blake's birthdays, as she tends to get a rather memorable experience for all the wrong reasons. Reasons we'll mention a little later on, but for now, let's quickly break down more on how Blake tends to constantly troll Ryan online. Back in January of this year, the actress found amusement in her husband's particularly gripping soccer match for his and Rob's co-owned Wrexham AFC team. The match took place in the Wales City on the 29th at the Racecourse Ground Stadium. At the time, Time, the club was versing Sheffield United in the fourth FA Cup round, and Blake couldn't help but poke fun at her husband for his reaction. Via her Instagram story, Blake attached a picture of Ryan looking notably stressed, writing, I bought ESPN Plus today just to watch my husband experience crippling anxiety live. Worth it. There was also a time when Blake was having an interesting hair day and directly added her husband and the list of people who met her that day. Captioning her story, How did not one person find the time to mention to me that this is what my hair looked like today? Then in July, 2022, when Blake was replaced by a stand-in model for Ryan's company, Mint Mobile's then advertisement, she joked via Instagram how she missed out on attending to speak about the brand's family plan, quipping, darling, if you charged more, you could afford me. Sorry, you're real white. Once Ryan attempted to clap back by saying he was revolutionizing the category, his wife swiftly replied, my love, feel free to revolutionize the couch when you sleep on it tonight. And that's only a very brief start of the playful swipes Blake has taken at her husband in classic Blake Lively style. At that. Before we jump into number 9, hit that subscribe button to keep up with Where Are They Now's trending celebrity videos. In our 9th spot, Ryan trolls Blake. As you are probably aware from earlier, Ryan is just as much in on the trolling fun as Blake is. While Blake is arguably a bit better at keeping Ryan on his toes, let it be known that Ryan can very much still hold his own. For Blake's 34th birthday, Ryan chose to instead shower singer Mariah Carey with praises, as his method of celebrating Blake's milestones with rather unflattering social media tributes is kind of this guy's thing. On Instagram stories, Ryan joked about the singer on Blake's big day by stating, my favorite thing that's ever happened on August 25th. Flashing back to 2019, Ryan comedically uploaded 10 not so pretty images of the actress. And in 2017, he may have posted his best work to date when he cropped Blake out of the photo altogether. Imagine that! For your birthday, your partner just crops you right out. Most recently, Blake was notably a bit salty after Ryan revealed his professionally produced music video on April 14th, informing the world of just how to pronounce Rob's last name. To top off the elaborate masterpiece, Ryan enlisted the help of the Broadway songwriting duo Justin Paul and Benj Pasek, the geniuses behind Dear Evan Hansen and La La Land to name two. In the clip he posted to Instagram, Ryan sang, pronouncing all those N's and E's and H's can perplex them. So here's a little birthday gift from all your mates in Wrexham. Towards the climax of the song, Ryan excitedly continued, Mac instead of Mick, then Henny does the trick, so get the name correct and show the man some damn respect. And well, overall, it seems this duo will never let up on trying to compete for the crown of the best Instagram clown. In our 8th spot, controlling? Apparently, Blake can be a bit controlling when it comes to money, as according to an April 2023 Raider Online article. Ryan's wife is simply not impressed with how he spends his money. In fact, the article detailed how furious the actress was after Ryan proposed the idea of blowing his $300 million paycheck on a hockey team. This information was reportedly presented by a close source of the couple. The Deadpool star recently sold off his wireless company, Mint Mobile and received quite a paycheck from it. But instead of putting the money aside for a rainy day or few, Ryan is instead intent on buying out Ottawa Senators, as per The Insider. 
The same source also claimed Blake thought this money would mean Ryan could finally cut back on work and help more at home. Of course, with this in mind, it's a bit clearer why the couple's separate outlooks on investing could have made things tense at home with the kids they're required to take care of. Once Ryan even previously discussed how his family is during a recent interview, alluding that their house is similar to a zoo. In our seventh spot, controversial weddings. Blake and Ryan's 2012 nuptials caused intense amounts of backlash given their dream destination was discovered to be a South Carolina plantation. Because of his deeply rooted ties to historic slavery, the couple eventually took the backlash in stride by apologizing for their choice of venue back in 2020. In fact, Ryan informed Fast Company that August that it was impossible to reconcile. What we saw at the time was a wedding venue on Pinterest. What we saw after was a place built upon devastating tragedies. On top of this, the couple released a joint statement to express their need to donate $200,000 to the NAACP's Legal Defense Fund, partially announcing, we're ashamed that in the past we've allowed ourselves to be uninformed about how deeply rooted systematic racism is. In our sixth spot, Past of Deceit, if we turn into fans, theories, both Blake and Ryan were once cheaters since they were both with respective partners when they met. When the pair met back in 2012 while filming The Green Lantern, Ryan was married to fellow actress Scarlett Johansson. Ryan and Scarlett remained married from 2008 to 2011, with Ryan then tying the knot with Blake the year after. The statement regarding Ryan and Scarlett's divorce read in part, After long and careful consideration on both our parts, we've decided to end our marriage. We entered our relationship with love and it's with love and kindness we leave it. While privacy isn't expected, it's certainly appreciated. As for Blake, she thankfully wasn't as seriously committed to her partner at the time. Although she was in a pretty long-term relationship with her former Gossip Girl co-star Penn Badgley, the pair didn't go as far as marriage. Blake and Penn called the relationship off merely months after she began filming The Green Lantern with her since husband. In our fifth spot, one of the girlies. Can you imagine if your wife was treating you just like the girlies? Well, Ryan doesn't have to ponder such because according to reports, Blake actually does treat him just like she does her regular girlfriends. When she broke down how exactly she and Ryan communicate their issues, Blake detailed how she's always found it helpful to treat Ryan like one of her girls, helping them resolve conflict by promoting healthy communication. Quote, in other relationships, if something came up, I would call my girlfriend or my sister and say, hey, this is what he did, what should I do? Whereas with him, we were friends for two years before we were ever dating, and I treat him like my girlfriend. The actress then finalized, I'm like, hey, this happened, it upset me, this is how I feel, what do I do? And he does the same for me, he treats me like his best buddy. In our fourth spot, Michael Kors mess. When it comes to sitting front row at any elite fashion show, there are hella sets of rules for how you should act. Take being on Michael Kors's level, getting the opportunity to witness a collection of theirs with your own eyes, and you get held to the highest degree. According to reports, sitting with legs uncrossed in the front row may seem silly from afar, but it's crucial to do so in order not to block the photographer's shots, something extremely important for both the designers of the show and the camera creatives capturing their work. When Blake forwardly broke this rule during her Michael Kors show appearance, she wound up impending the camera's views and ticked off quite a few shutter bugs in the process. In our third spot, the baby situation. After Blake posted a sweet Instagram picture of her children's father carrying their little one during their first Father's Day together, it was of course supposed to be a sweet and silly gesture. She even captioned the cute snap, Happy Father's Day, Advanced City Reynolds, since the day our baby was born, I felt so strongly in my heart that you were most likely the father. Hashtag, I love you so much, it's silly. However, there were loads of commenters who managed to look past the fun message and instead focused on the fact that Ryan didn't seem to have the baby properly set up in the carrier they were using. Of course, said people were speedy with offering their unwarranted advice, with plenty of fans and supporters pointing out the first time parents very common mistake. In our second spot, can't compromise. According to the same source from earlier, Ryan and Blake are constantly in rows about each other's careers. The insider alleged that Ryan and Blake's marital tiffs can be widely attributed to their jobs as actors. The report, which informed the news originally, claimed, quote, things were reportedly tense when he was filming nonstop because he was not around to help with their kids and house, adding on how the couple were frequently squabbling over smaller things like chores. However, even though the report also speculated the couple would be getting a divorce, this suspicion remains unconfirmed. As RadarOnline.com once reported, the lovebirds have furthermore been getting into it over how busy Ryan's schedules are, as pals of the spouses apparently disclosed how they've been arguing over parental duties with the most recent arrival of their fourth child. As for the insiders, Ryan and Blake have been feeling unusually overwhelmed as opposed to their normally cheerful vibe. The source alleged how Ryan promised more than once to scale back his many work commitments and be more hands-on with the kids during Blake's 
pregnancy, but his promises have fallen short, and Blake is livid. Given his work ethic, the Green Lantern actor seems to not want to slow down, lined up with several new projects in the foreseeable future, and leaving Blake feeling betrayed. Back in February, the insider also detailed, Blake can see the irony here. She put her once hot career on the back burner to be a full time mom. Big yikes. And in our first spot, keeping up appearances. While we can't confirm this ourselves, sources have claimed the couple want to possibly appear as the perfect spouses, even though there may be a lot going on behind closed doors they're trying to keep out of the spotlight. Hence the need for so much privacy. Now with this in mind, it does spark reasoning for why the couple has reportedly considered divorce during their time together. Outside of being considered one of Hollywood's strongest couples, breakup rumors have been one of the biggest topics surrounding Ryan and Blake for years. Another source even alleged how their debate for divorce was being done quietly slash in secret. Again, we're not sure of this ourselves, but unnamed sources have said via OK, Blake and Ryan's marriage may look perfect, but they are only faking it. The publication even added, the couple was allegedly very good at showing a united front in public, after all they are actors. It will allegedly help both of their careers to portray a certain persona. Also, both of them believe that they should deal with their issues behind closed doors. That's been today's WATM, I've been your host Michaela and thanks for watching friends!